Ellison, the opportunity to see this room is just your thoughts on what you want to achieve uh, as a leader of this team? Yeah, it's a, it's a massive privilege for me uh, uh, taking over the captaincy this weekend. It's something special and something I really dreamed of. Um, yeah, it's, it's not about me this weekend. Um, like Cash mentioned before, it's, it's about us, us as, a, as a team. Um, seeing where we are in terms of our attacking structures and defensively where we are and physically as well and, and, and our mentality. So we're just going to go out this weekend and see how far we can go and how far we can push ourselves and see where we're at and holding up towards uh, Super Rugby. Talking about leadership, just how much of that post up experience are you hoping to feed off, especially to the answers? Yeah. Quite a lot, um, but I, I'm breaking it down as an individual every single day um, where they can share some, some knowledge um, with the players in meetings and stuff like that, or individually on a one-on-one -on -one basis, so whether it's effective or not, so I just share wherever I can, can add to the individual or to the team. Um, but yeah, it's not about the World Cup, it's not about the Springboks, because at the lives we play a different brand of rugby, but wherever I can implement something that was working at the Springboks, I will definitely implement at the lives as well. Also, uh, what would it be like on Sunday to come up against old mate, old mate for the morning? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's good to see him back in South Africa rugby. I think uh, the younger players is going to learn a lot from all the way, especially at the Bulls. Um, yeah, but I don't play against an individual. Um, it's going to be the Bulls against the Lions. Um, that's how I do things. And, and that's the way I see it. You still see it like that, even though there's a number of players who've come from the Bulls to join the Lions this year. They've said there's no bad blood, but <laughs> it's going to be a war, eh? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the African Dogs is uh, it's always special and it's always tough physically and mentally. Um, I mean, both teams are going to give everything um, to get the W on this weekend. Um, yeah, we we lucky enough we got a few speedsters um, from the Bulls. I mean, um, Jamba is very physical. Um, he's gonna add a lot of weight to, to our backline. Um, got Duncan that's played Curry Cup last year as well for us. So yeah, they they slotted in well into into our culture and into the team. So hopefully we can see them inspired on Sunday. Last question. Elton, your chairman and CEO seem to be expecting quite a lot from you guys this year. Putting pressure on you from the off. Um, how different do you think it's going to be for this younger team compared to the previous couple of seasons? Yeah, we've, we've lost a few players in terms of like last year as well. Um, but we're going to have to accept that and we're we, we moving forward. Um, we've got a new management team, um, we've got new players and young players that's very exciting for the union. And it's players that's willing to learn, and that's the biggest thing. If, if you can have a growth mentality and then we can move forward in terms of our processes because things are not going to happen overnight. Um, it's going to happen every single day where we can get better as an individual and improve as a team as well. So as long as the systems are in place, um, we can go places this season. Thank you everyone. You're welcome to organize one-on-one.